Now let's take a look here at the Mars Agent, which stands for Microsoft Azure Recovery Services. Uh, Azure is weird like this, where sometimes they'll add the word Microsoft in front of it, or they won't, and this will change the initialism, but it really is uh, the same service, so just don't be thrown off by that one word. But this agent, which can be installed on your virtual machines or your on-premise machines, help you back up files, folders, and system state only for Windows servers. So just to give you a little visual there, Imagine you have uh, your own on-premise machine and it has the Mars agent installed on that machine. And then you have your own VM running your own VNet and it has the Mars agent installed. It's gonna back that stuff up uh, to the um, Azure Service Recovery Vault. Um, and so another thing you need to know is that the Mars agent is also known as the Azure Backup Agent, which is really confusing because you'll see both in the documentation, you'll think they're two separate things, but the same thing. This also makes me think that Azure Backup and Azure Recovery Services are the same thing, but I don't have any definitive proof, so that's just what it is. But it doesn't seem to really matter, um, but it just shows, shows you how things can get confusing in Azure. Um, the Mars agent does not support Linux operating systems. So you did see previously that uh, Azure Resource or, uh, Recovery Service is able to back up Linux virtual machines. How that how it does that, I don't know, um, but it's clearly capable of storing those in the vault. Uh, but really we just need to focus on the Windows side here. Um, to install the agent, uh, what you're gonna need to do is create yourself a vault because it has to back to, up to a vault. You need to create up a backup policy, which we'll look in the next slide. Uh, you'll, you'll probably have to configure a secure route in case you're connecting to your on-premise, you'd use express route. Maybe you want to make sure that um, the backup stays within the Azure network, so you might need to create a uh, private endpoint. It, these are totally optional uh, or, or required depending on your use case. You'll have to download the Mars agent, you'll have to install and register the agent to your Windows machine. So there you go.